most uncomfortable feeling in the world. Uh -huh. It didn't go anywhere else but inside of my shoe. This is it. Today is the day, you guys. I am so excited because if you thought this build was full stupid before, we're really going full stupid now. Let's warm her up and bring her to the shop. <laughs> The last one kind of got cooked in the fire a little bit and we can finally go full boost again, boys. But uh, probably won't be for another week. You'll see. <laughs> Back at it again with the white vet. One super frustrating thing about this car, it's probably my number one pet peeve, is you have to physically turn the car over if you want to put it in neutral. And if I leave it neutral, shut off the car, like I, I can't, it doesn't let you get out. So uh, I literally have to put it in park to shut off the car, which is very, very frustrating when you're on the side of the road, you need a tow or you just wanna leave the car neutral. Um, sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. So we're gonna drop the engine and trans of Phoenix today in preparation for doing the clutch job. Um, I don't know if we'll get to it today, but I am super curious to see just how beat the factory clutches are. I don't know if we'll get to that today, I don't know. But I am excited to take a look at that too. Not only that, but while we're doing the clutches and we have the engine and trans dropped, we're going to be adding an auxiliary fuel system, which I'll share a little bit more with you about later. We got a lot going on, we got a lot to do. And when I say auxiliary fuel system, boys, I mean we're going port injection. All right, this is the second time we're gonna have the engine trans out of this car. We gotta take off the bumper, do the wheels, unhook a bunch of stuff, take out our whole net system back here, remove this, start disconnecting stuff. Coolant, oil, oil. Fuel. Fuel. All the good stuff. So we are projecting about six, seven hours of work ahead of us. It's not like it's difficult, it's just a lot of stuff to do in order to get this dropped. Well, yeah. there's like 30 bolts in the belly pan. Yay, fun. I am excited to see what those clutches look like though. Cause I have heard a lot of things about how the clutches and stock seats don't look like they'll last very long with abuse. Well, they've been abused. I also have some crazy news on the flywheel that we recently learned that I don't think many people know. What, that the one that you had was broken? Well, no, not only that, but <laughs> Dotson disassembled my flywheel because we thought it was broken. Turns out that the flywheels in the seat actually have a centrifugal pendulum absorber set, four of them, quad, ugh, which is like a little weight that rocks side to side to try to help with any vibrations. That's what was making that noise, was the weight sliding back and forth. Mine weren't necessarily broken, but they were on the way out and the grease had apparently separated inside of our flywheel. So I don't know if that's just the grease they used. I, I genuinely don't know because it's the first one that's ever been taken apart. Why are you guys both just unscrewing and screwing back on caps? Because we're just fiddles. <laughs> we're fiddlers. Amelia, what the heck is that? Oh. So Nicholas Frostberger and Rain Beast came to decorate. Well, anyway, we need you out here, like, now. Yeah, just a second. I'm in the middle of building. Amelia, so your seat is on fire. Bro, how much do you think it's going to cost this time? It's not going to be cheap. In that case, give me two minutes. I guess this is a good time to thank my friends over at Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's episode. I know I promote this game a lot, and I will continue to do so because I cannot stop playing it. Raid Shadow Legends has been an amazing supporter of this channel, as you know. Link is in the description below. Raid is a turn-based RPG game that is available on both mobile and PC. All you have to do is assemble a team of champions, develop their skills and experience, and battle against other online players and challenges. There are over 500 different champions to collect. No two champions are the same, making for nearly unlimited options for gameplay. They're constantly rolling out new features. Just this month alone, Raid released their biggest update ever. Along with a whole host of holiday events and tournaments, my favorite holiday edition is the new Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously badass bosses to take on. On top of that, they're also releasing 14 awesome new champions. All you have to do is hit the link in the description below, and if you are a new player, for the next 30 days, you'll get your free Void Champion Bulwark, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and even an ancient shard as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. You can find me in the game under the name Miss Amelia, and if you're quick enough, you guys can even join my clan. Thanks again, Raid, for sponsoring today's episode. Now, let's get back to the video. Oh, this is my first time since the fire actually 
actually seeing under the C8. Whoa, look how this melted around the bolt that used to be there. That's nuts. You guys can really get a good eye at the wastegates too. Those used to be black, they're now gold. No wonder we had so much for our shit cooking on here that was burning off creating smoke. We're gonna clean all this up. We're gonna replace anything that looks fucked up and definitely replace this piece too. We'll also redo all the all the heat wrapping on the exhaust and whatnot too. And add, we're gonna add more. Yeah. I wanna wrap this all the way around. I wanna wrap everything. Yeah. When you build a car with zip ties and Gorilla Glue. I'm just kidding, we didn't actually, we didn't actually come down. But it's like, what's in the pocket of a mechanic versus a, oh my God. All right, well, we're still tackling away. It's been a few 17 hour days back to back to back. So if I'm moving a little slow, it's cause I'm a little tired, but I, I'm really excited to do this. So I'm honestly just happy to be here. We are definitely pressure washing that. So be before we get any further on the sea, this is the perfect time for me to surprise Sandy with $2,500 as a bonus for Christmas for the end of the year for all of his help. I'm gonna be gifting money to Sean as well as my editor, James, too. So James, you watching this? I think I've surprised you by now. I hope so, that'd be awkward, but happy holidays and thank you. So before we, we get any further, you guys, this is the perfect opportunity for uh, me to acknowledge Sandy and to say, how thankful I am of you and everything that you do. And I'm super glad that you're on board this team. And for that reason, I wanted to give you $2,500 as a gift for the end of the year for you and your family. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Got <him>. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> Honey, we're having steaks. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah. amazing. Thank you. Here's your burnt wire. Thank you. <laughs> that's all I have for you. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't have, I didn't have like more of a lead and I was like trying to think of something cool. I was going to give you like a few hundred at a time and keep going, but I don't know. I'm just... So it almost looked like Cindy was about to cry in that clip. You guys, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him to crack his hard exterior. We will surprise him with something that's just going to make him cry one day. One day we'll use a proper drain bucket. <laughs> I like our drain bucket. That one, that's the best one yet. This is the biggest one yet. Yeah, well, less, less mess on the floor. James walked into the big old grin on his face. And I think for Sandy. What? Sandy's oh, winning today. Oh, winning. John, you open it. Is it a t-shirt with a funny saying on it? It might be. I'm so good at this game. It might be. Oh, that'd be rad. What's it say? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, where's mine? Oh, wait, no, I was kidding. You actually got me something. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Wait, 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 wait. My hands are covered in dirt. Oh, I'll be the <laughs> oh, I think I knew about this one. Yeah. Oh, Zam, look at that. We you're swagging out Honda here. Gang. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. You have to wear it now that you're officially a Honda person. I did get you a little something, too. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, no. All right, James. I appreciate everything you do. You rock and you listen to my starters more than anyone else I know. I listen to you talk probably more than I listen to anyone else on the planet. <laughs> oh, it's just... Okay. That's... <laughs> it's $2,500 to help with any medical, moving, whatever expenses. That's too much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Merry Christmas. There is one last thing. Sean. Oh, God. Please. <laughs> you're one of my best friends and you've been in the vlog Wait, since no. day one. No, I don't and want you to do this. I, I really do appreciate you, and I don't think I'd be where I am today without you. So, with that said, I also wanted to give you twenty five hundred dollars as a Christmas bonus for all of your help. Really? Yes. I don't know if I should take that. Why not? All right. Thank you. I don't have to say this is so. If people could know, when you just have this big eyeball thing lens in your face, and someone just hands you a gift, and you just sit there, and you're just like, "What do I do now?" It is, it is awkward. And I've been surprised too, as you guys know. So, and I, it really is an awkward thing. So, thank you. 
you're welcome. And I, I hope this helps with Christmas or, or gifts or, or whatever it is for, for you and your family for this month. So I know it's been a hard year for everyone. Okay, we, we think that's everything. Fingers crossed, yes. We have to push over the racks a little bit so it can clear the K-member and then I think we're ready to drop the motor. All in all, I mean, this was really easy the second time around. Nice and slow. Oh. Okay, hold that thought for a second. Time to remove the bolts on the K-member. I think we're here. I think we're here. One. Everything looks pretty over there? No, everything looks good. I'm just gonna show you guys that like, I need new rotors and probably new brake pads. Maybe I'll upgrade to like some drilled and slotted ones. Um, calipers are good. The pads are definitely wearing thin right now, so uh, yeah, especially more track use, we're probably gonna wanna upgrade those. Or at least swap them out. Wait, wait, wait. Well, heater hoses for the intercooler, yeah. We have to get the body up enough to do that, though. No, I can pull them through. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing in that hose was literally slipped on my high tops. No! Did you just throw it too? That was the most uncomfortable feeling in the world. Uh -huh. It didn't go anywhere else but inside of my shoe. Wait, we got it first try! Yeah. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> wait, 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 guys. We're definitely gonna take off the whole turbo system. I think this is gonna be the hard part to clean. This head's not so bad. Oh and even God. here, just getting everything out. You guys can see literally all this fire extinguisher crud Quit here. Stirring it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll pressure wash the transmission. We'll do everything. We'll make it look clean. Oh, these wires got a little toasty here too, but they're good. I'm serious when I say I want to clean everything though, guys. Could have been a lot worse. We got very lucky. Well, I don't think we'll be separating the engine from the trans tonight. We'll do that in the next episode because we spent most of the day doing this and screwing off a little bit. Tomorrow we'll come back, we'll separate the engine from the trans, and we'll take a look at those clutches and I, I don't know how it works with the DCT, but I imagine and I hope we'll be able to see exactly how they look as of right now. That'll buff out, right? Yeah. Center a little too hard there, bud. <laughs> I'll give you more information on the clutches in the next episode when we actually go through them. But I will say now, huge shout out to Sisyo Performance for actually helping us obtain the world's first Dodson clutches for the car. Wow, that feels crazy to say. Uh, we'll go more into detail about that in the next episode just to break down you guys what this is all about and what's really happening. I'm really excited for this. This is way easier than swapping a Prius. Yeah, <laughs> this is so much easier than pulling an engine on a Prius. So far, so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll give you that. Happy Christmas Eve, guys! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, thanks to you, uh, we were also able to make a sizable donation to the nonprofit Project Healthy Minds. Um, they focus on mental health awareness and they're actually creating the technology in order to make it faster and easier for anyone to seek help. So I'll link the information in the description below if you wanna go check it out or maybe make an additional donation yourself. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing holiday, Christmas Eve. In the coming year, I do have a lot more plans to work with Project Healthy Minds, so I really am excited for this. I'm excited to do good. Also, about a month or two ago, I shot an episode for TJ Hunt's new show with NOS Energy Drinks called Tuner Car Tour. I am episode number one, and I'm actually going to put four minutes of that episode right after here so you guys can watch it. This isn't paid or anything for me to talk about. I told them I actually wasn't gonna put it on my YouTube channel, but when I saw how it came out, I actually loved it so much that I wanted to include it here for you guys to watch. So I hope you enjoy what's about to come and thank you guys so much for watching. Iku, we out here with love. Bye! <laughs> What's up, NOS Energy fans? My name is TJ Hunt, and today is the start of the NOS Energy Tuner Car Tour. We're gonna be going around and checking out some of the sickest builds in California. Oh my. And while we're at it, we're gonna be loading everyone up with NOS Energy product. Have you guys ever seen a delivery whip like this? You got the wrong guy. And you also got a little special delivery. You can thank me later. What happened to your engine? Oh, you know, it's a hybrid. Oh, okay, sick. <laughs> this is my good friend, Amelia Hartford. You might know her as a famous YouTuber, all-star TikToker, <laughs> world record holder in the C8 world. She's a lot of things. 
how did you get into cars? Because in a world that is primarily dominated by males and the car community, how did you get to where you are today? I think for me, I just never really looked at it like that. I didn't have a boyfriend or a dad that helped me get into it. I kind of had a life experience happen to me, going down a dark time. Instead of partying on the weekends, I was with my friends in the garage and we were working on engines. The car community at that point became my family. This car is really what started it all for me. It's what I started vlogging with for my YouTube channel. My whole concept was, I'm gonna build this car into a drift car and learn how to drift in one month. And that one month was so I can make your event. I didn't know this. <laughs> really? Yeah, I built this car so I can make that event that you did. And we have a shot of us kind of tandem and we're learning how to drive I at drove it. That, that was that green down yeah. the valley. You ready to see my happy juice? Pop it up. Ooh, tuck's in there nice though. When I bought the car in Kentucky, I think I had maybe a thousand miles on it by the time I got to Texas and thought, well, we should put a nitrous bottle on this, do a couple hits and see if we could get the fastest quarter mile time. And then that's when the bug just hit. So we got nitrous in the front. What do we got in the back? Business in the front, party in the back. The totally ironic thing is I said what everyone says when they buy a car, if you're a gearhead and it's, I'm leaving the stock and this is where we ended up. Not stock. <laughs> So we got a meth tank for additional methanol fueling, a built LT2 engine. Tell us why it's built. Well, you know, sometimes you just slap a few too many boosts on a car <laughs> and uh, send it a little too hard. But respectable. <laughs> You're the first person I know that's done a built LT. I wasn't disheartened by blowing the first engine because like, all right, you know, I've been saying from the beginning, we'll build it better and stronger if anything yeah. were to happen. Yeah. And this is where it's gotten us today. So I do need to get to your speed because this thing is absolutely beautiful, but we need to help you with uh, little spaghetti and meatballs down here in the <laughs> corner. Counterculture spaghetti just hanging out in the back in case she gets hungry for later. You're thinking you could do about 1200 horsepower. We're shooting for that, yeah. And then once you get a new clutch in that can handle that power. We'll actually put that to the tire. So I'm on the KW Club Sports. The only sacrifice I took was not having front lift. Yeah, so sometimes I scrape my bumper. Not as bad as what you did when you came in here. Someone had to do it, it might as well be me. <laughs> Forge lines are like the race wheel. Cup twos? Oh yeah. Damn. And we got the cup twos. I love it, I couldn't be happier with the setup. So what's next? clutch packs for this, and then take her to Texas to try to beat the record for fastest C8 in the quarter mile. Let's get a ride in this car and we'll see how it feels. Okay, I want you to drive it though. I do want you to experience this. Okay. TJ Han is now the driver's seat of my twin turbo built LT2 C8. You've ridden passenger, but you've yet to drive this. Thank you so much, Amelia, for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm glad we got you hooked up, so you'll be set for a little bit, and I'll see you next time. See you next time. Crack and cheers! Cheers and crack. Crack and cheers. I'm TJ Hunt, and if you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more epic content. doesn't have any fire on it. We're good. You guys, the fire's not that bad. I feel like we're talking about this fire thing a lot.